pigment has many elements such as background color, shapes, colors and text to create a picture story. Let's see how you can create a beautiful picture story with these elements. Let's start by applying the background color. When you open the Tux Paint program, the main screen appears with a new white background. Click on the Magic tool. When the Magic section appears at the selector area, click on the down arrow to scroll down and view the additional options. Now click on the Fill button and from the bottom colors palette, select the tan color. Click in the drawing canvas. Your desired color is applied as the background. Now that your background is ready, let's draw a river. First, from the tools area, click on the paint button. And then, from the brushes section in the selector area, Select the appropriate brush size as desired. From the colors palette, select the blue color and then click and drag the brush across the drawing canvas to draw a river. It is now time to draw the narrow wooden bridge across the river. Click on the Lines button from the Tools area. Select the brown color from the Colors area. Next, click and drag the Precision cursor across the lower portion of the drawing canvas to create a bridge. Now, let's add some leaves on the bridge. Again, from the tools area, click on the paint button and from the selector area, scroll down and select the leaves effect. Now that you have selected the desired leaf pattern, click on several points on the wooden bridge to display the leaves. Your bridge is now covered with leaves. Let's now draw the goats. From the brushes section in the selector area, select the required brush shape. And from the bottom colors palette, select the required color. Click and drag the brush on the drawing canvas to create an outline for the goat. Once the drawing of the goat is complete, it's time to color it. From the tools area, click on the magic button and from the magic section in the selector area, click on the fill button. From the colors palette, select the beige color and click inside the goat drawing to apply the fill color. Let's now add some background scenery for your story. Start by drawing some grass around the background. Go to the tools area, click on the magic button and from the selector area, scroll down and select the grass effect.
Let's add a few trees too. From the tools area, click on the stamp button. From the stamp section in the selector area, click on the left and right arrow to find the trees category. Select a desired tree type. Now, using the stamp controls, select the orientation and the size of the tree. Click on the desired location on the canvas to place the tree stamp. You can even draw some birds in the background using the stamp tool. Seagull Once you are done with your picture, it's time to explain your imagination by adding text. Go to the tools area again and click on the text button. From the letters section in the selector area, select the desired font. Using the text controls, select the text size. You can even change the color of the text from the colors area. Let's say we select the black color. Now click at the desired location and type the text explaining the story in a few concise words. If you are happy with your story text, then it is time to save the work. To save the drawing, from the tools area, click on the save button. Your drawing is automatically saved to the default location with a default name. The message, your image has been saved, appears in the help area.